So let's start with some basic string transformation. And these string methods do things to strings. Okay, so the way they look in the code is they have, we have the string as a variable, and then we have a period, and then we have the method after that. Many of these do not take arguments. So the way that looks in code is, um, all right, that's what I get for having all those open. Let me just create a new mess around file here. Okay, so let's say I have a string that just has some text in it. And I want to take that string and I want to use a string method on that. Okay, so if I say something like str upper, and then I'm going to use this. So my str text equals hello there, and I'm using that variable dot upper, and I'm putting it into a new container called str upper. Now if I print, str upper, what do you suppose it's going to print? Hello there, but what's going to be different about it? It'll be all uppercase. So let's run this. Okay, so now we're shouting hello there instead, right? So, so I've transformed that string. Now notice that this string method as with most string methods, it is a return something. So it doesn't change str text. str text is still the same. And if I print that on the next line, you'll see that. You'll see that. So this variable, the original str text, is untouched. So I'm taking this, I'm using that method, and it returns something that I then put into str upper. When I print that, it's the uppercase version of it. And when I print the original, it's exactly the same. So good to remember. So we have str dot upper. We have the lower string dot lower method. Right, we probably can figure out what that one is. str.strip. Now, before somebody starts waving dollar bills around, uh, let me explain what strip does. So, if we have some text like this, and I have some spaces on the front and the back of that text, and I apply strip to that. Let's print, I'm gonna print this plus str new because I wanna print some stuff on each side of it because I want you to see what happens to the original text when I apply strip to it. Okay, so if I run this, what you'll see is that strip returns this text without the white space on the front and the back. It does not delete all the white space. You'll notice that there's still a space between the words hello and there. It just cleans it up front and back. This is really useful. You think, well, that, that seems kind of, why would you need that? 
you're going to use it a ton because user input is sloppy and messy. And if you're asking for a user to enter a password or their email address or anything that needs to be precisely correct, you're going to find that users love to throw in extra spaces all over the place. Maybe you even had this happen to you before where maybe you have your password for a, for a website written down somewhere and you go to copy and paste it and you accidentally grab a space on the front or the back of your password. And then it says, well, that's not your password. And you're like, well, I know it's my password. I copied and pasted it. But if they had just used this one simple command to clean up password input, then it wouldn't be a problem. So strip is very useful. Swap case. Okay, let's let's run swap case here just to see. Swap case. And we'll just print str new. Okay, so if it's uppercase, it makes it lowercase. If it's lowercase, it makes it uppercase. I will admit I've never used that in an actual coding situation. It seems kind of fun though. Um, there are probably some use cases for it. I just don't know what they are. Uh, and then replace and find, we will get into in, a, in just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do those next. Really quickly though, I want to go over the, these string methods and just remind you of these function reference pages where we have a description, we have the syntax, an example of how to use it, actual code that you can copy and paste and play around with, and then the parameters or arguments for each one. So these function, the function reference is very useful. I want you to remember that it's always there. And even if it's not in the actual function reference for this class, you will find literally any function, any method that you're looking for out on the web, and it will often be in the same kind of format. This is very common format for these things. So getting used to reading these things and making sense of them is sort of a key to unlocking your learning beyond uh, what we do in this class. So we have str lower, str upper, same thing. And remember, there's a lot of these have no parameters. So no parameters. Strip actually, does have parameters you can specify the characters that you that you want it to remove so if you only want it to remove spaces or you only want it to remove a tab character it'll remove any white space character so spaces tabs carriage returns line feeds there's a lot of whites what we can what we would include as white space so if you don't put anything it removes all the white space characters if you include it it will remove only those things that you include str lower and upper, like I said, no parameters. 